Hello, let's provide answer to this question. Finding the value of x in this equation. First of all, we need to expand uh, using the term outside the bracket to multiply each of the terms inside. So the negative 3 will also multiply this and this. Then we can be able to see if we can find the value of x. So 2 times x, that will give us 2x. Then 2 times a negative 2, that will give you negative 4. Then the negative 3 will multiply x to give us negative 3x. Here will be negative 3 times negative 3. That will produce positive 9 equals to 0. So now we can see that all the terms are on the left. We can see x terms, x terms, and a constant term. So let's group them together in terms of like terms. That become 2x minus 3x. Let me bring the 9 first since it's positive. Then minus 4 equals 0. At times when we are grouping like terms, the mere fact that we are grouping the like terms, we think of changing the sign. We change the signs only if the movement of the term is from one side of the equation to the other side. You can see all these are on the left. So they maintain their individual sign, positive, negative. The sign changes only if it is from the left to the right or the right to the left. So now this is going to be my, uh, 2 minus 3. We know 2 is less than 3. So if you subtract 3 from 2, you will be left with 1. That will not get. That becomes a negative. So negative x. Because we have a negative 1 x. But we don't write 1 in front of a variable. So this becomes negative x. Then this is 9 minus 4. That will give us 5. So positive 5 equals 0. We are looking for the x. So either we maintain the x here and subtract 5 from both sides. Or we add x to both sides. So plus x plus x. To so become negative x plus x will give you 0. So we are left with only 5 equals to x. Therefore, the value of x is 5. Meaning if 5 is replaced by x, we are going to get 0. Let's see. If 5 is here, that will give you 3. Right? 5 minus 2 will be 3. 3 times 2. You get 6. If 5 is here, it will be 5 minus 3 will be 2. 2 times five, uh, 3, that will also be 6. So we get 0 equals 0. So the value of x is actually 5. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and comment. Bye-bye.